Ed Donovan started making hot rod parts in his mother's basement. At that time, there were really no quality parts being made for uh, hot rod stuff. Ed had a really good sense of what quality really needed to be. And then in 1972, he made his first uh, aftermarket aluminum engine block, which was the first one ever produced. He made two of them. They went out and ran one. And that following Monday, there were people lined up around the block wanting more of them. And unfortunately, the, uh, you know, the manufacturing capacity at the time was pretty limited, so it took them a while. My name's Norman Woodruff. I uh, was Dead Donovan's first employee back in 1959 when the company was in Englewood. We're carrying on the tradition that uh, Ed started for us. He gave us a really good infrastructure here. And with the uh, modern equipment and modern programming systems, uh, we're able to uh, keep stepping up the quality constantly and the, uh, and the reliability of our, of our parts. I, I met Tom Sheeler, who uh, is our master cam rep, who is also a racer, and he introduced me to the uh, programming advantages of master cam. We got our first seat and uh, started doing our design and programming. And it was, it was such a great thing because you can not only make your, your engineering drawing, but then you can create a cutter path right off the engineering drawing. And it takes a little learning, but uh, it's well worth it. It's fantastic the way they can uh, make chips in a hurry and you get phenomenal tool wear. The biggest problem we got right now in roughing out these uh, billet blocks is the chip conveyor won't keep up. Okay, we're, we're making an engine block out of a solid forging and this uh, new OptiRough uh, system is just, uh, just phenomenal. This cutter stays engaged. We're using three inches of a three inch cutter. When we're, uh, when we're doing the really heavy duty roughing, we're, uh, I have to open all the doors in the shop to let the smoke out. This, uh, this first billet block that we made uh, wound up in Tom Sheeler's dragster and he won first time out. And uh, that's pretty amazing. But, with our care and the, and the master cam and the ability to uh, actually uh, simulate the program ahead of time uh, came out pretty trouble free. And I'm talking about, uh, you know, programs that are, well, like the whole program is probably a million lines. And uh, that's, to get them all right the first time is, that's remarkable.